What up, peeps? We are back, and this past weekend, we got a special fighter announcement for Esports Boxing Club. And as soon as I saw this tweet, <laughs> I mean, that literally just had a bomb emoji. I already knew what time it is. It's bomb squad time. This is the addition of Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, and I think this is major, a major, major fighter announcement. I mean, we are going to be receiving arguably the hardest puncher in boxing history in ESBC. We are talking about like a 95% KO ratio. <laughs> this is this crazy. Every man that stepped in the ring with Wilder has tasted the canvas. I mean, this announcement is very exciting. And I'm really intrigued to see how the team over at ESBC plans to balance this. And before I get into that balancing, a mad props to the individual or individuals who put together these fighter announcement trailers. They are really nice and the team at ESBC are secretly getting these fighters scanned and animated and just dropping a complete bomb on us. I mean, it's crazy. This Wilder model looks amazing. He's naturally, he naturally has a thinner build than most heavyweights. If you're looking at the jawline and just the overall features, they're right on point. Looks really good. And now looking at this model makes me wonder because in this model, his hair is braided back, but anyone who's been watching the latest training videos you'll see that he's rocking those dreads when the game launches will fighters come with multiple hairstyles uh, that would be really dope that just kind of i was sitting there thinking about that as i'm looking at this model right now now what do you do with the fighter that possesses a crazy amount of power like deontay I feel like they have to stay true and when that right hand lands, it has to make some type of impact. Maybe the punch delivery could be set up in a way to where players who have the skills and timing to react are ultimately able to set up that right hand and be rewarded with either a knockdown, flash knockdown, stun your opponent. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless how they could implement this. Uh, how they are they how they're gonna manage this power right will there be any resilient fighters that can counter this power somebody could be like yo i'm if you're bringing wilder i'm bringing marciano since marciano historically had a good chin will that chin hold up to power like wilder it, this is getting really intriguing it'd be like the unstoppable force versus the unmovable object I mean, we've had hard punchers in the past. They may just treat Wilder the same way. Who knows? This seems like this could be a balancing team's nightmare. And we have to also keep in mind that esports competition is a major part of ESBC, so balancing all around is important. This is going to be very, very interesting. Just out of curiosity, let's take a look at the heavy hitters, the hardest punchers in past boxing games and let's just take a look at a couple games let's look at fight night champion uh, you have both the klitschko brothers coming in at 90 and 95 when it comes to that power old george foreman sitting at 96 tommy morrison 95 lennox lewis 96 young george foreman coming in at 100 and that's the highest in fight night champion series i believe i think the only person that's coming close to that is Mike Tyson, and we're not even going to mention Isaac Frost, even though I just said his name. I think he's at 99, but he's fictional. So um, let's go ahead and look at let's look at Knockout Kings 2001. Their top punchers we have Frank Bruno 95, goodness, Butterbean 93, Jack Dempsey 96. Wow, Joe Frazier 95. Okay, I know both. Dempsey and Frazier can hit, but I didn't realize they had them rated that high. That's very interesting. Michael Grant, 93. Lennox, 96. Interesting. Lennox is 96 in Knockout Kings 2001 and in Fight Night Champion. Sonny Liston, 100. Okay, I was expecting that um, for Sonny to be 100 or close to closer to 100 in in fight night champion i believe he's 93 uh, the last time i checked so he's 100 in knockout kings um joe lewis 100 whoa rocky marciano 97 archie moore 97 ernie shavers they gave ernie shavers love 100 <laughs> nice 
uh, David Tua 100. My goodness. I mean, they were not shy when it came to rating the power for these fighters, for sure. Warranted or not. <laughs> That's crazy. And I was just curious to see who those hard hitters were. And it's just making me think, will Wilder receive the same treatment as the past fighters rated high in power? Or will he be placed on another level of power? This will be very interesting. I'm, I'm so excited about this announcement and the inclusion of Deontay Wilder. And that's it, peeps. Let us know what you think in the comments. Deontay Wilder bomb squad is in the game. Are you excited for Wilder to be included in ESBC? Where do you think his power should be rated? This is a man that's been in the ring and has dropped everybody. No one's faced Wilder without hitting the canvas. Every man he's faced. Let us know what you think his power is going to be rated. Let us know what other fighters you're interested in. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe to our page. We're going to keep bringing you content uh, weekly here at Operation Sports. And that's it, peeps. We will keep you posted. Until next time. Gia. Yeah.